Hi everybody, welcome to using your Soli laser. And I just wanted to cover a few things with you guys. So I've gotten a lot of uh, questions and I just wanna make sure that I condense it all into a video that would be very helpful to you guys. So the first thing I want you to think about is when you receive your laser, don't immediately just turn it on and just put it on your skin. I know I've stressed this before, but it's really important that you put the frequency on nine. So you start off with the frequency on nine and you start off with the intensity on one. So what makes that really important is that if you have it high um, or too high or you have it on for too long, um, you know, how I said a couple of seconds, it can burn your skin. And that is what a laser can do, um, which is why even when you go to dermatologists, which, I, you know, for laser hair removal, for anything, when you go and deal with these types of devices, you must be very careful. Um, and even estheticians uh, re are required to have a special license to do um, laser on other people, to use lasers on other people. So it's very important that you test it on a spot. And so every single spot of your skin is different. So, um, so this skin um, on my upper lip is different from the skin that's right here on my cheeks. This skin is different from, you know, the skin that I would use for uh, my uh, Brazilian or my, my, you know, my Brazilian line or my bikini line. And every single part of your skin is different. Some parts are more sensitive than others. And so it's very important that you take a special care and you test, do spot tests or patch tests to figure out what, um, how your skin will react to the laser, the different parts. So what works well on your face may not work well on, um, you know, your mustache or, you know, areas like that. So you have to be very careful of that. Um, the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is you must use ultrasound gel. That is the main number one thing that I want you guys to, to do is take the ultrasound gel. Um, you can buy it from Amazon for about $5.99. I put the link in the email that I sent you, but please, please, please check that email. It has the link to where you can buy ultrasound gel. Um, another thing is that uh, this is a type of uh, laser that's very similar to a plasma laser. So, the way that it works is that you have to cluster these spots together. Don't, you know, have a laser and then drag it across your skin because what you're going to do is just take a laser line and drag it across your skin. You're going to have a, a line across your skin. So what you really want to do is that you, you want to do little tiny spots. And then they will cluster together and they'll form like one large area. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what that looks like, um, you know, uh, from a like plasma pen or something very similar, a laser type, very similar to ours. There can be some scabbing as a result. And so, you know, our scabbing usually doesn't come for, I think, about two to three days. And then it usually is gone, um, usually by day four or five. Like after you see scabbing, it should be gone within three days. Um, and it usually just flakes right off. It's a really thin layer. Um, and, um, you know, that is how this laser works. If you have any questions about that, you can always email me. Or if you feel like you're not comfortable with such an intrusive process, you can always go over and switch to the microneedling pen, which I have no problems with. Um, which is a little bit less intrusive and you don't have any scabbing as a result. So those are the main things I wanted to go over with you was using ultrasound gel, patch testing, a frequency of nine, intensity of one, and making sure that you cluster all of your uh, lasers together, so laser spots together, so that they kind of form a pattern or a design so that you can see your progress before and after. If you do little tiny spots all over your, a large area, you will never see any progress. You have to start somewhere. So I will show you guys all of um, the information that I have, and I hope this is really helpful to you in your process. Thank you. Bye.